Hello, dear brothers and sisters. Today, I want to say to you that as Christians, we always need to be striving to walk in the Holy Spirit, to have the Holy Spirit. It's very important to understand that salvation is not a one-time thing. It's a daily walk with Jesus Christ where we need the Holy Spirit to continue shining for him. We cannot shine for Christ. We cannot be lights to the world. We cannot even help anybody be saved if we are not shining the light of Christ, if we are not projecting and being used by God to spread the light, the truth of Jesus Christ and the sacrifice that he provided for reconciling the world to himself. One of the most beautiful parables uh, in the New Testament that Jesus gave was the parable of the ten virgins. I love that parable because it explains so much and very simply. Many people try to change the meaning of that parable because they don't want to understand in simplicity what it means. In that parable, there was five foolish virgins and five wise ones. Now, the only difference between the foolish and the wise virgins was that the foolish virgins did not take extra oil with them, but all of them, they were virgins, all of them had lamps, all of them, they could shine for Jesus Christ. That's why they had lamps, and this is what being born again means. God gives us a lamp and oil with it so that we can shine for Jesus Christ. So we cannot have lamps if we are not born again. The foolish virgins, they were born again and they had lamps and they were even shining for Jesus Christ. The only difference is that they didn't endure until the end. They didn't have enough extra oil to last until the coming back of the bridegroom. Now, when they heard that the bridegroom is coming back, they woke up, all of them, from sleep. And the foolish ones asked the wise virgins to give them oil because they said their lamps were going out. That means these lamps were shining. That's why they were going out. And this is what we have to be careful. Us as Christians, we have always to be careful to have oil with us, to have the Holy Spirit. If we want to be ready when the bridegroom comes back, if we want to be ready when we die and we stand before him for judgment, we need to last until the end having oil in our lamps. We need to have the Holy Spirit every day without the Holy Spirit. We cannot shine for Jesus Christ, even though we are born again. We need to make sure that every day we recharge with the Holy Spirit. We spend time in prayer to God. We go to him in faith and we ask for the Holy Spirit constantly. In the book of Acts, we see that the apostles many times, even after Acts chapter 2, where Pentecost happened, it says many times over and over, and they were filled with the Holy Spirit. Every day we have to strive to be filled with the Holy Spirit. It's like a car. When a car uh, doesn't have gas anymore, it cannot run. So we need to always put back gas so that we are able to run. We are able to do the work that God gives us to do. And we are able to endure with Jesus Christ until the end. So my question to you guys is, are we striving to be regenerated every day in the Holy Spirit? Are we spending time in prayer? Are we asking of Christ, of Jesus Christ, to fill us with the Holy Spirit? Do we care about having oil in our lamps? Do we care about being shining all the time for Jesus Christ? Is Jesus Christ on our mind every day? Is it the first thing we think about when we wake up in the morning? Is it serving the Lord that we care about? Is it helping people 
get saved and being snatched from the fire, is that what we care about? Or is it just only in name? Do we just want to be saved? And do we just want to escape hell? We need to be striving to commune with God, to communicate with him and to be filled with the Holy Spirit so that we can shine for Jesus Christ. A lamp without oil cannot shine for Jesus Christ. We need to have that oil if we want to shine for Jesus Christ. And may God bless you.